Hello, Stephen Paul with Designer Decks. Today we are going to change a four foot by six foot deck into a 14 by 16 foot deck. First, we're going to dismantle this one, take all the top boards off so just the framing is going to be there. We're going to keep the stairs. That's all that we're keeping the stairs and the framing for this part of the deck. So, the first thing that we're going to do is measure from the framing to the gutter. That's how far the 16 feet is going to be. I'm going to use a Bosch hammer drill to drill holes through the board and the concrete, and then I'm going to use tap cons with a nice cordless DeWalt to attach it, making sure I use a level to level the board. It's actually going to be an 18 by 14 foot deck. And now I'm going to take another board and measure out 14 feet this way. Then I'm going to take another board 18 feet this way. And then I'm going to take another board coming up to this part of the deck that's already built. Basically building a box. what I want to do is make sure that this part of the deck is square so the way I do that is take my tape measure three feet on the outside of the board then measure four feet and then five it should be five to be square when it's this big of a deck, you could also double that up and use a six. Eight. Ten. Perfect. Now I also put a board right here to keep this squared, keep it from moving. 
Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and use my post hole diggers. These are amazing. They're cobalts. They're sturdy. And you know what's nice about these? They won't rot like the wooden ones. They're a little heavier, but hey, it's a little bit more of a work post hole diggers to dig about a seven inch, eight inch hole in each of these corners and put a four by four post because I'm going to have a railing going all the way around this. But I'm also gonna go ahead and use concrete. I'm gonna make a little concrete footer at the bottom because that pole is going up quite a bit and I only have an eight foot pole. So I'm gonna hit all three of these corners. This one's already hit because of the existing six by six. No wheelbarrow, no worry. Make sure your bag is a nice thick bag. Put the concrete right in the bag. Pour the water right in the bag. Who needs a wheelbarrow? Mix it in the bag. We use quick setting concrete so we could put the poles in within a half hour, sometimes sooner, depending on how dry you mix the cement. You pick the bag up, pour it right into the hole. Eighteen feet long. I've got 12 footers and I'm going to cut 12 footers into six footers for that extension. So I put my beam, the center of this is at 12 feet, so I can rest my 12 foot boards every 24 inches I have them marked right here. Every 24 inches. And I'm going to splice another six foot board onto that 12 footer to extend to the rest of the way. The six by sixers have been cut off that were on the old deck. They are sticking up a little bit above. So what I do is I just take my saw and trim it just like this. I rest it on here and trim it up. Making sure it's level with the top of the joist. So we put two sets of beams and one beam on each side of the ends. Posts are all set except for the one right here which I'm going to be putting on that old 6x6 and toenailing it into the 6x6. And boards are being brought out to finish up the top portion of the deck. So to cut around these 4x4s, I scoot the I scoot the board up close and I mark I mark right on side of the four by four like so and this is three and a half inches wide so I'm gonna cut this 
two inches, leaving a, in, a half inch overhanging. And then I take a saw, my circular saw, and I cut up to here, circular saw up to there, and then I cut a little edge here. And now I'm gonna use my jigsaw to cut here. For the railing, we're gonna be putting two two by fours. One two by four is sitting on top of four by fours. That'll be the height of the bottom one. And then we're cutting these four by fours off at 39 inches. That way, this will still be up just high enough that you can blow off debris. And then we're going to put a two by six on top of this to finish it off. For now, we're cutting these four by fours. Nice catch. Today, we will be using the Murrow stand up screw gun. This is a lifesaver. Box of screws. These are the longer screws because this is a two by six board. You open up that little hatchet, slide it in, slide it in that top notch right there. Close it up. You pull the trigger and then it stays on by pulling this, by pushing this button in. The first time that you do it, you have to force the next one up. So it's not ready until now. We pop chalk lines all the way across. Easy to see, an inch in and an inch in, both sides. Now I'm giving it to the cameraman so I can get working on the railing. Sweet. <laughs> All right, I've got, I've got the picket. I'm going to mark off five inches, shoot them on the same side. I'm going to shoot all the tops, then I'm going to take my level, level, and shoot all the bottoms. Stephen Paul with Designer Decks. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to Fritzy Brothers Inc. Thanks a lot and good luck building.